Hey guys, welcome back to math. Y'all ready to do lesson 17? I'm ready. Let's do this. Okay, looking at our screen share. All right, we and ready for lesson 17. I can add ones and ones or tens and tens. We did this yesterday. We can do this. We got we got this. All right, let's keep going. Oh, look at this. Oh, look, I, I need my hat. I need my hat. Ooh. There we go. Now I got my hat on. I'm ready to go. I'm Detective Ray. Are my fellow detectives ready to solve an application problem? Okay, now look, read, draw, write to solve one or more of these problems. We're gonna solve all three because we're just that smart. You can't tell me any different. All right, I'm gonna write, read, draw, write. We're gonna check them off as we do them, okay? Now let's look at number one. Ben had seven fish. He bought four fish at the store. How many fish does Ben have? Okay, we read it. I'm not gonna check it off yet because we still have two more. Let's draw it out. Ben had seven fish. So I'm gonna draw circles because I'm gonna do a simple drawing. And I'm gonna make seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this is seven fish that he bought. Okay. He bought four more at the store. So if he bought more, we're going to add one, two, three, four. There's my four. Seven plus four, let's see, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. How many fish did Ben have? He had 11 fish. Did we read it? Yes, did we draw it out? Yes, did we write it out? Not only did we write a number sentence, we wrote a statement also. So we can check, check, and check one. We're ready for number two, dos. Here we go. Maria had seven fish in her tank this morning. She bought some more fish and now she has nine. How many more did she buy? Hmm, okay, we read it. Let's draw it. Maria has seven fish in her tank this morning. One, two, three four, five, six, seven. Here's my seven. She bought some more. We're gonna add to it, but we don't know how many more we added to it, okay? But now she has nine fish. So let's draw on to make nine from seven. So seven, eight, nine. How many more did we draw? We drew two more, so we can take this and make it two. Can we answer our question? How many fish did she buy? She bought two more fish. Did we read the problem? Mm -hmm. Did we draw it out? Yes, we did. Did we write it out? We wrote our number sentence and a statement. Check, check, and check. Number three, Anton had eight fish. Some of the fish died and now Anton has four fish. How many fish died? Mm. All right, we read it, let's draw it. He had eight fish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's my eight. If some of them died, that means they went away. So. What do we do when we have something that goes away? We subtract. Whoops, that was a big subtraction. So let's make that a little smaller. We subtract. Now, do we know how many went away? No, we don't. But we do know that he has four fish left. Okay, so let's circle the four that he has left. One, two, three, four. Let's circle those four. Those are the four he has left. That means these are the ones that went away. How many went away? Four. So how many fish died? Four fish died. That's sad. So did we draw? Yes, we did. We wrote our problem, our number sentence and our statement. So did we check all three of those? Yeah, we did. 
you guys are getting so smart and so good at this. So friends, now, if you haven't finished this, you can pause my video and catch up, but we're done. We've solved this problem. We can clear that case and we can move on. So here's what I want you to do today, friends. Erase your board. We're working with Miss Kaylin some more on the same topic we did yesterday, where we were adding tens and tens and ones and ones. But she also asks us to use our linking cubes. We don't have linking cubes and that's okay. We don't need linking cubes because we know how to draw out tens and ones. So we can do our quick tens instead of using linking cubes. Oops. Okay, so let's make our video. Raring to go, here we go. Welcome to class, my marvelous mathematicians. It's Miss Kaylin here, ready to guide you through another lesson. Today, we will continue our work of adding ones and ones and tens and tens. For today's lesson, you will need four ten sticks. We're gonna draw. Pause the video now to gather your materials. When you're ready, press play and we'll get started. Welcome back. Let's get started. All right. Take a look at this number sentence. What are we adding to 19? We're adding two ones. Two. Wait, let's be more precise. Two what? Two ones. <laughs> yes, we're adding two ones. Did you know that really good mathematicians remember what they learned in unit? Let's think back and remember that question we ask ourselves when we're adding two-digit numbers. Oh, I remember that anchor chart. Right, we ask ourselves, should, should we, we add, add to, to the, the ones, ones or to the tens? Or add to the tens. So mathematician, where should we add our two ones? Should we add it to the ones or to the tens? We wanna add it to the ones. To the ones. We know it's easier to add ones and ones and tens and tens. Let's use our quick 10 drawings to add two ones to 19. Okay, Go so ahead and draw 19 in quick 10 and add two ones all on your own. Then we'll come back together and review. I'm gonna pause her so we can have some time to do this. So let's make one 10 and nine ones. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine. Now I need to add two ones. I know that one more to the nine makes a whole 10. And then here's my other one, two, I have two right there. Guys, I see two tens and one one, two tens. I think that's right. Welcome back. Drawings look like this. It does. Do you see where Miss Kaylin added her two ones? Yeah. Added one nine one or the nine more ones. to the nine ones. And I made a 10. I love making 10. And then I added the other one right next to it. And look, I drew a line through the 10 ones to show I made one 10. Because I know 10 ones has the same value as one ten. I can easily see my answer. Two tens and one one is how much, mathematician? Twenty-one. Twenty-one! Oh yeah! <laughs> now you can put your marker down and watch this. Let me see what our strategy looks like in a number sentence. While you watch, mathematician, I want you to think, how is this the same as our drawing we just did? We know nine needs one more to get the 10. Remembering your drawing, we you added one more to make a 10. But first, we need to decompose or break apart 19 into 10 and 9. Do you remember in your drawing when you drew one 10 different from your nine ones? I remember that. Now, let's add the ones with the ones. We can add nine ones with 
two ones. Do you remember in our drawing when we added the ones together? Let's do that. 10, I remember 10, 11. We have 11. When we added our ones, we had 11. Mathematician, we still have left to add. Gotta add that 10. Right. We need to add that one 10. 10 and 11 is 21. 21, just like we had in our drawing. Now, mathematician, say this number sentence with me, starting at 19. 19, 19 plus, plus 2 equals 21. <laughs> 21. Great job. Let's do another one. Go ahead and grab your whiteboard. And at the top, write 19 plus 20. Then I want you to draw 19 in quick time. Pause the video now if you need more time. You need more time, hit pause. All right. Now, before drawing our next add-in, what do we need to ask ourselves, mathematicians? Should we add to the ones or right. to the tens? That's a great question. Should we add to the ones or add to the tens? Well, we're adding 20. So what do you think? Should we add to the ones or add to the tens? Tens, because 20 hmm. is two tens. So, 20 is the same as two tens. So let's add to the tens. Go ahead and add to your tens on your drawing while I do it on the screen. Two. Hmm. Hmm. I didn't draw right next to the other tens. Can I still add all my tens together? Yes. Of course I can. Just count them up. Just because I didn't draw them next to each other doesn't mean I still can't add my tens. Ooh. Let's do this in our number sentence. If I want to add my two tens with the tens and 19, first, I need to break 19 into its tens and ones. Do that with me. Yes, that's so much easier to see the one 10 when I break it apart. Now, mathematicians, let's add our tens with our tens. We have. 10 in 19 plus two more 10 in 20 equals mathematicians. How many tens is that all together? Three tens. <laughs> and what is the value of three tens? 30. 30. 10 plus 20 equals 30. <gasps> I think we're done. Oh, wait. <laughs> Don't forget to add those ones. How many ones do we have left? Nine. Oh, we have nine ones from the 19. Let's add that. 30 plus nine equals? 39. 39. Let's look at our drawing to check. 10, 20, 30, 39. <laughs> we got 39. Oh, it's almost time for our problem set. I love practicing, but before we go, it's time for a Kaylin challenge. <laughs> I was practicing for today's lesson and I asked Mrs. Curry to check my work. And because she's so awesome, she found a magical mistake in my work. Here it is. That's the work that I did. Mrs. Curry said I made a magical mistake, mistake. something I can learn from. Mathematician, I want you to put on your detective hat. Okay. Five, you don't have to tell me to ask. Two plus 13 on your board. And then see where Miss Kate made her mistake. I'm going to try again too while you pause the video. Okay. You got this, Miss Kate. You can fix your mistake. Okay, we're going to pause. So let's do this. Okay, let's go ahead and start with 13 because we know that 13 is 110 and three ones. Now we need to know is this two? Is it two tens or is it two ones? It's two ones. So where are we going to add it to our ones? Here we go. One, two. So we know that three plus two is five and one ten is 
one. So now our answer should be 15. So where did she go wrong? Oh, look, she made two tens instead of two ones. If this was gonna be two tens, she would need a zero after that. Not right. Do you think she's gonna fix her mistake? I think so. You guys find my mistakes sometimes and you call me out on them and that's okay because I need to know when I make a mistake too. It's okay to make a mistake. That's why we have erasers. So let's see if ours is correct. Pause the video I would love to be able to wear a detective hat. And find my magical mistake. <laughs> hmm. Welcome back, my Kaylin challengers. Did you find my mistake? I think, you did. I, think I did. <laughs> Silly me. I saw the two come first in our number sentence, and I automatically thought it was two tens, but it's two ones. <laughs> Always good to check your work. I think I fixed my mistake. Is it correct now? It looks like she did. She said two plus three was yes. five. Two plus thirteen. Two plus three was five. 15. And then five and oh, ten yeah. was fifteen. I love when I fix my work. I'm so thankful to Miss Curry for helping me find a magical mistake. Now, mathematicians, I want to give my brain some love for finding that magical mistake. Repeat after me. My brain is great. My brain is great. My brain will grow. My brain will grow. The harder I work, the harder I work, the more I'll know. The more I'll know. And that's so true. It's time for your problem set, my mathematicians. Your must-do problems are three through five and eight through ten. You will have ten minutes to work your hardest. Always remember to do your best. And remember, if you make a mistake, that's okay. Your brain will thank you for growing. Have a great day. Bye. Bye, Miss Kaylin. Okay, so let's slide past all this. And let's go down to our problem set. All right, let's look and see what our problem set says. Problems by drawing quick tens and ones or a number bond. Okay, quick tens and ones or a number bond. You don't have to do both but you do have to do one of them, okay? I would suggest doing whichever one is gonna be the easiest for you, okay? So let's look, since you don't have to do one and two, let's look at those. So number one says 25 plus one. Now that's kind of easy. Let's do that. Two tens, five ones. Uh-oh, that's sloppy. They're on top of each other. Let's fix that. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to add one more. Is that one or one, one? One, one. Now I know we have two tens. And five plus one is six. So I have 26. Now, friends, if I were going to do this the number bond way, I would do it like this. 25 plus one. Break apart my 25 into 20 and five. Then I'm gonna add my five and my one, which is six. And then I'm gonna say 20 plus six equals 26, okay? You don't have to do both, but you have to do one. So either do it this way or do it this way. If you wanna do both, that's fine. All right, let's look at number two, 25 plus 10. So let's make our quick ones. 25. There's my two tens. There's my five ones. Now I need to add 10 more. Is that a 10 or 10 ones? I'm going to add a 10. So now I can look and see I have three tens and five ones. Now friends, if I'm going to do that in the number bond, I'm going to break my 25 up. 20 and five, I'm gonna add my tens, 10 and 20. You know that 10 plus 20 is 30 because it's three tens. And then I'm gonna add my 30 and my five. 30 plus five equals 35, okay? You have to choose one of them. You can either be that or that, or you can do both. It's up to you. 
but you have to do one of them. You're gonna do three and four and five, just like that. And let's come down here and look at eight, nine, and 10. Oh, same thing. Eight, nine, and 10 are the exact same thing, guys, okay? Just be careful. So you're gonna do three, four, five, eight, nine, and 10, okay? Three, four, five, eight, nine, and 10. I better see either quick tens and ones or the number bond on your work, okay? When you finish, make sure you do your exit ticket. If you have any questions, email me, send me a message, whatever you need to do. We'll see what we can do to help you guys. If you have no good for you. And I will see you guys on our next lesson. Bye, friends.